This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection and service. Over the last six months, solid state drives have significantly come down in price and increased in capacity, thus closing that gap between value per gigabyte versus the cheaper and more common uh, spinning hard disks or hard drives or mechanical hard drives. What's up everyone, I'm Dimitri with Hardware Canucks and is it time for you to ditch your loud, slow, bulky mechanical hard drive. Ever since I switched my workstation PC, which is behind me to solid state only, I've grown only more annoyed and less patient when a wild hard drive appears or when you can hear it approaching. But what if I told you that you don't have to endure that anymore because value-oriented SSDs are actually quite affordable now? So what if you replaced your one terabyte mechanical drive, like the very common Western Digital Black at 99 bucks, with a one terabyte SSD instead? So in our case, testing the new OCZ Trion 150 SSD at $270. So the value per gigabyte uh, between these two options is actually pretty significant at uh, 10 cents per gigabyte on the mechanical disk and the 28 cents per gigabyte on the SSD. But still 28 cents per gigabyte for an SSD, a one terabyte SSD I think is pretty awesome, especially considering I remember when I purchased my first SSD, which was a 60 gigabyte model and I paid over $3 per gigabyte. Now we know that SSDs are much faster by nature versus a mechanical spinning hard drive, but does it actually make sense for gaming? So I decided to move my entire library, my entire gaming library off a hard drive onto the SSD to see what type of improvement you can actually achieve in sort of real life scenarios. And you've noticed, I've noticed significant improvements in installation times, game loading times, and obviously just regular file transfers uh, from and to the SSD compared to the mechanical drive. And so the first test I did was copy my game folder, which is at 95 gigabytes. It's pretty small right now, but you can see that uh, you save so much time when SSDs are involved. Next is game installation with files already on the disk and Steam just needing to discover and install the game. And here we already see you know, various games with different total sizes of those games. And this is again where you save so much time, especially with larger games that can take up more than 20 minutes to install on the hard drive while only a few minutes or a few seconds on the SSD. And finally, game loading times, which again shows a little boost so you don't need to wait as long before jumping into the game but it's not as significant when actually dealing with uh, installing or copying this information but what about actual gaming performance do you gain any extra average frames per second when dealing with a hard drive versus an ssd no there is margin of error here in these results maybe one to two frame difference but uh, the majority of improvements that you can actually see don't take up in the gaming scenario, but they take up on every single little step that goes up to the point of displaying those pixels on your screen. So like installation, copying the files and game loading. And so right now we're in this very interesting time when hard drive replacement is not only the most affordable it has ever been, uh, we have so many options to choose from as well when it comes to value oriented SSDs, but with all the added speed improvements, it actually makes sense to do it now. Now, don't get me wrong, hard drives still have place with archiving, general storage, and the best value per, do per dollar. But if you've been contemplating of migrating that uh, gaming library off a mechanical drive onto an SSD, now's the time, my friends. Now is the time. And so that concludes this video. Again, it was inspired by my shift towards solid state only machine, which is right behind me with the, my editing workstation. You can check out all three parts of that linked in the description below. If you want to check out the full review of the OCZ Trion 150 SSD, that will also be linked in the description, both 480 gigabyte and 960 gigabyte capacities if you're thinking of picking one of those two up. But that will be it for this video. I'm Dimitri with Hardware Canucks. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.